Descript continues to roll out changes and updates at a dizzying pace. It's hard to keep up with. The newest one is an integration with Squadcast, which allows you to record high quality podcasts remotely. So to do that from your workspace view, you go to the new button, remote recording, and it says Squadcast is now Descript's remote recording studio. Connect to record with up to nine others at no additional cost. Connect to Squadcast. The first time you do this, it will prompt you to set up an account. And once you get your account set up, you come to Squadcast's homepage and all you do is hit create new session. You can start session now or you can schedule one for later. And you can set your name. You can set your pronouns if you want. That's interesting. You can do an echo cancellation. And you can select your equipment, your external mic, camera, whatever you want to use. And all you would do, well, you can do a test recording. You can check your mic and your camera. Everyone's probably familiar with how that works. And then you just hit join session. And it's prompting me with all this tutorial stuff. And then to invite somebody, there's a participants and then a link where you just hit invite. You can copy the link to the stage or to the backstage, which would be they're not in the chat yet. Or they're just watching. And you hit copy link. And that's what you would send to your podcast guest, your producer, whoever else is going to be on the show, even audience members. And then you would just hit start recording. And we're live. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And when you leave session, successfully uploaded HD audio and video. I can download it. I can add to workflow, get all files. I can edit the session. Okay, I ran into an issue where it wasn't opening up in my Descript workspace. So what I found is, first of all, you gotta go here to the dropdown under recent primary recordings, open up your session, find the recording, open it up again, find the speaker, hit those three dots and then hit edit in Descript. And then it prompts you, you can do the MP4, which is the audio and video. You can do the audio only in wave format, or you can do it audio only in MP3 format. I did MP4. And when I clicked that, it opened up my Descript thing, but it, I didn't get this at first. And the problem was I had pop-ups blocked. So be aware of that you might have to allow pop-ups for the site. And then it prompts you to import from Squadcast. It automatically named it. You can choose the location. You can choose which drive you want it to go into and which folder. I'll put it into my recordings folder. It prompts you for your transcription language. Oh, and actually it's not gonna let me put it into my private recordings workspace. Okay, now let's create project and import files. And it prompts me to open up the desktop app because it opens the web app by default. And there we go. Now it's just a normal Descript project that we can edit. It's transcribing, it's got my webcam, and we edit it just like normal from there. So this is pretty cool. The advantage they were explaining in the video is it records each member of the conversation locally on their computer and then uploads that file to the cloud, which is a higher quality, less pixelated version of the video and better audio as well. So pretty cool. I'm excited to try this and I think it's a big level up for podcasters.